Are you sick and tired of terrible online presentations? Well, that was terrible. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five tips for delivering an amazing online presentation. Guess what? I made it easy. They all start with the letter E. Let's do it. new to the channel my name is Robert Kennedy the third RK3 and I work with business leaders who need to deliver critical messages with confidence if you're not new to the channel well my name's still Robert Kennedy the third over the last few years it's become more and more important to be able to deliver messages online because companies are shifting the world is shifting and in-person presentations are not the only ball game anymore. So if you find yourself having to give an online presentation, either because you've been asked or because it's part of your job, now you've really gotta be intentional about delivering an amazing experience so that people can connect with you and then they can be moved to action based on the information that you share. So I wanna share with you five things that you can do to really bring the amazing, to bring the awesome, to bring the superb, to bring the phenomenal, to bring the... Okay, that's kind of enough words. Yeah. If you wanna have a really, 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 really good online presentation, there are five things that I wanna share with you. Tip number one is about your environment. And I call this the let them see you tip. Here's what happens. In a lot of cases, people are not careful about their environment and so their environment swallows them up. Everything from having windows and lights in back of you so that you appear like a silhouette to having a busy environment where they're distracted by everything and so they don't really see you or pay attention to you. You've got to pay attention to your environment so that your environment enhances and supports the content that you're sharing. So if you can use simple backgrounds, if you can use colors that are complementary to your brand and, and don't swallow you up or take away from you. You don't necessarily have to use a flat wall in the background, but you wanna make sure that it doesn't clash with your clothing. You wanna provide some contrast so that you stand out and your audience isn't distracted by the background. Tip number two, energy. Let them Feel you let them feel your energy there's nothing worse than having to sit through a presentation and the presenter is boring <laughs> you don't have to be the most charismatic you don't have to be a cheerleader your energy doesn't have to be this high but varying your pace or the way that you share your energy is important to making your audience connect with you and feel you. So utilize pauses. Utilize the range of your voice, the highs and the lows. Utilize the speed of your voice, sometimes speaking faster and sometimes slowing down just a bit. But if you've got it in you, it's okay to turn up the volume on your energy and your voice as well. Tip number three, engage with them. Let them know you. Ask questions, call names, reach out, chat, share, show your personality, use an interactive activity. Let them be a part of the talk with you. Spin a wheel, add a word cloud, do something that engages the audience with you. Don't let them sit there feeling like this is just a monologue. This is a dialogue. Have a conversation with your audience. Engage. Tip number four, empower them. Show them a better future. If there's a challenge, if there's a problem that's happening right now, what is the new future that you can point them towards? What can you allow them to see? What can you allow them to do differently? How can they step into something new? Create that picture for them. Paint that picture for them. Allow them to imagine themselves in a new, better, brighter future. Tip number five, expectation. 
what's the action that they can do and what can they expect to see happen next? What change is going to take place and what benefits should they expect based on the actions that you're calling them to? If you utilize these five E's, these five tips, I guarantee you that's gonna take your virtual, your online presentations up just another few notches. It's going to create a different level of connection and relatability with your audience. And it's gonna make you feel a lot more confident in delivering that amazing content that you've prepared. I hope those five tips helped you. Listen, join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab by going to storytellersgrowthlab.com. We'll share with you quite a bit more about how to navigate the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any additional tips, share those in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.